we finally have the price point and new processor information on the ASUS ROG Alley. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. The Verge is reporting, by way of Snoopy Tech on Twitter, that the ASUS ROG Alley will cost $699.99 and will be equipped with the newest AMD Z1 Extreme processor. From docked to portable mode, you can play wherever and however you'd like. This amazing new handheld looks to take the Steam Deck by surprise by coming in at this amazing price point and featuring amazing technology in a handheld form. Snoopy Tech has leaked that the ASUS ROG Alley will come with a 7-inch Full HD 120Hz screen, the newest AMD Z1 Extreme processor, which I will show you the chart in a bit, 16 gigs of LPDDR5 featuring AMD Radeon Navi 3 graphics with 512 gigabytes with its M2 SSD and featuring Dolby Atmos surround sound. Play almost any game that runs on Windows, Steam, GOG, Xbox Game Pass, GeForce Now, Android, and more. This thing looks to be the Steam Deck killer. Now one thing to note, this leaked information at $699 is for the AMD Z1 Extreme version. There is a cheaper AMD Z1 version. There's two processors basically, the Z1 Extreme and Z1. So for the vanilla version or cheaper version, I wonder how much it's going to cost. AMD recently announced the new Z1 series of processors the power you need for your next generation handheld PC gaming. And if we take a look at the AMD charts that they have released, a Nintendo Switch has 0.4 teraflops in power, while the AMD Z1 is coming in at 2.8, but this awesome Z1 Extreme processor is coming in at 8.6. That is crazy. That's a lot of power. You can see that the Z1 Extreme has an 8-core 16-thread Zen 4 processor, 12 RDNA 3 graphic cores, 24 MB of total cache up to 8.6 teraflops in graphics performance, while the standard vanilla Z1 has a 6-core 12-thread Zen 4 processor, 4 RDNA 3 graphic cores. If you compare it to the extreme, that's a big performance cost, 22 MB of total cache and up to 2.8 teraflops in graphics performance. You can easily see here friends, the extreme is the one to get, it's gonna future-proof you. And that $699 price point, if it holds, makes it all that better and I bet you, you will be able to see that on any game that you play on this amazing handheld. Here WCCF Tech is noting that there's definitely a huge difference in specs and performance when comparing both processors, as the Extreme has a much higher compute through output thanks to the higher number of the GPU compute units and also offers more CPU cores and threads, which should definitely give it a much bigger edge. It is likely that ASUS will utilize the standard Z1 APU for the power tune designs which aren't aimed to push the limits of the graphics, but instead offer minimal and viable gaming experiences in retro games. And just to compare from the AMD APU on the Steam Deck, here we're coming at 1.6 teraflops. So again friends, this looks more stealthy, easier on the eyes, because it's a full 1080p screen. That's the only thing that was holding me back on the Steam Deck. Don't get me wrong, that device is awesome, but I personally skipped it because I need at least 1080p on my screen. So paying a little bit more, to get all these features is just a no-brainer. But hey, the Steam Deck was first in this class, so you gotta give it credit for pushing the boundaries and making all these companies improve on it. Competition is always good, and at the end of the day, we're always gonna win. Here looking at the AMD Z1 series processor, at full 1080p performance, you could see at the bottom, the Z1 is on the red and the Z1 Extreme in the orange. If you look at each individual game, the performance is outstanding on that Z1 Extreme processor. Again, friends, if it holds at $699, this is the one I'm gonna get. Here they're stating that the Z1 Extreme processor is meant for 60 frames per second and beyond on some of the world's most demanding PC games. The game performance here is the average FPS, low settings, and 1080p, upscaled 720p with the RSR. And if you go back down to the Z1, you can see performance does drop dramatically. But again, this is the vanilla version, the Steam Deck competitor, while the Z1 Extreme version really is extreme and takes it to the next level if you're willing to pay that pretty penny. Here also WCCF Tech has a versus compare chart so you can compare the latest models, the AOK Zoe A1 Pro, the AOK Zoe A2, the ASUS ROG Alley, and the Aya Neo 2S. Here you can see the clock speeds clocked in at 5.2 GHz. The GPU cores all have 12 compute units. The GPU clock speeds also all of them at 2800 MHz. The good thing is that the Wi-Fi module is 6.0 not like other cheaper manufacturers that have a 4 or a 5. For example, even the latest monitors from Samsung have a Wi-Fi module of 5. 6 should be the standard and should be on all devices, so that's good to see it here. The operating system is Windows 11 and it will be announced in May of 2023, at least officially announced, featuring a dual fan design, keeping everything cool and quiet during operation. It also includes the ASUS Armory Crate, just like the PC, 
where you can customize and set up different key mappings, add game from multiple platforms, and so much more. It even has the potential to connect it to an ROG XG Mobile eGPU to get more power if you truly need it. Asus really has made, according to the specifications, if this price point holds true, for those who dare and want to invest in the PC handheld space, this is it. This truly looks amazing. So keep an eye out here on the channel as we will get one in as soon as possible to help you make that awesome buying decision. From benchmarking to gameplay to fun, the ASUS ROG Alloy looks to be a winner. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help to make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on this latest and greatest piece of technology, the new PC handheld gaming sector from Valve, ASUS, and other PC handheld manufacturers. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.